focus of today's video is the DJI Osmo 2. I'm Original Sin. I'm Code Red. Don't, 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 don't fly around my signal. Don't fly, don't fly around my signal. Don't, don't fly around my signal. I'll rearrange your gino. Today we're reviewing the Osmo 2. Uh, what you have here basically is a three axis gimbal. Also featured is a chord button here, a mode button here, and on the side here is the, uh, the zoom slider. Also, we've got a little uh, joystick here, which is used for um, vertical and horizontal uh, panning. You might have noticed that I've got a bunch of batteries taped to the side of the Ghetto Osmo 2. Style. <laughs> the reason I'm using this is because we're not just shooting straight up with, with an iPhone. We're actually using a moment wide V2 lens. This adds a considerable amount of weight to one side of the phone, so you have to counteract that with a counterweight. Miles is gonna film me using the, the Canon here. So he's gonna film me with that while I stand running around this place here with this thing, um, looking like a fool probably. this kind of tunnel thing here. Code Red's gonna run up and down this catwalk thing. And, uh, I'm gonna film him doing that. So what, what's, what's your personal opinion of this thing then? You've been using it a little bit. It feels great in the hand, it's extremely steady. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. I dislike how when I pull up, I can see it in the corner. All right, so we've uh, come to a different spot now to do some panning. In the tunnel you saw us walking across uh, the bridge holding the gimbal sort of like this. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some panning shots of this backdrop here. We just spent 30 minutes recording. So we thought, but Adam didn't turn the camera on. So, so we're gonna do all this again? <laughs> she just saw us putting this thing through its paces. I felt that it excelled at everything, but I wasn't quite so pleased. Personally, after reviewing the footage, I didn't think it did such a great job of walking towards stuff. I thought that the footsteps were evident in, in the video, right. unfortunately. Um, but the thing is, my full disclosure, I've never owned the gimbal before, so I kind of don't know if my expectations are a bit unrealistic or not. Really? Maybe there isn't a gimbal on earth that stops the footsteps, do you know what I mean? Maybe that's just something that happens. Panning, uh, tracking, moving the thing around and being in a fixed point yeah. seems to work excellent, but incredibly smooth footage from, from all that. Something that's pretty cool that we didn't mention yet is that you've got a tripod mount on the bottom here. Let me just demonstrate. I just put my mini tripod on here quickly. Like so. Then you've got this situation here. Mother. <laughs> the DJI Go app has a feature, uh, I think it's called face tracking or track, I don't know what it is. You can use that app, uh, draw a circle around the object or, or somebody's face or whatever. The gimbal will then enable your phone to track your movements or the movements of whatever it is that you've selected, which I think is really cool. Um, it's not something that I use personally. Uh, just because you can't shoot in a log or a flat profile um, in the DJI Go app currently. This thing will literally run for about 15 hours. We've got about almost two full charges on the phone out of this thing and still had around 20% left on battery life on it. It's not an issue for me, but a few other people on the internet have pointed this out as an issue. So the problem is, once you put your phone in here, the lightning socket or the headphone socket or whatever, is butted right up against this thing here, so you can't actually record audio with an external device 
whilst using this. Um, you can use obviously the, the native microphone on your iPhone or whatever and record audio whilst using this, that's cool. But I feel like if you're investing in the gimbal, then you're probably not interested in trying to record audio through your phone like that while you shoot video. So when you raise this up, this part becomes visible in your screen. So that is kind of a downfall. Uh, there's not much you can do to combat that other than just hold it fixed and don't go above a certain amount. If you hold it in like shotgun mode like that, then, then you're not going to see the arm here. We're only seeing the arm because we're using a wide angle lens. What you're getting for what you pay for is actually It's definitely recommended for any, any cinematographers or anyone filming in general to go out and get some extremely good footage. The panning that you can do with the cinematography that you can achieve. For the price of this, what you get out of it, uh, it's a great products. I imagine that anybody who bought one of these things would find that they'd take it out and use it all the time because it really does make for better footage, smoother movement, cinematic look. This may not have been the most comprehensive tech review that you've ever seen. Uh, we certainly don't set out or pretend to be that. Peace! Ha, ha, ha.